I use AI tools for six months and encountered the unimaginable. I've been using these artificial intelligence tools for six months now, which has really helped me on my content creation and my online jobs. But something happened that actually changed my whole perspective of using these AI tools. In this video, I'm going to share with you what happened and what my experience has been and six things you're going to encounter once you stop using these AI tools. Without further ado, let's dive into today's video. AI tools has been one of the greatest tech achievements of man. Since they launched the open source AI tools like ChatGPT, Bard AI and others, it has been a blessing because getting good ideas and quick information is now made possible because everyone now have access to these tools. For every tech product like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp and so many other applications now have AI tools embedded in them which makes them effective with more functionalities. Something happened that actually changed my entire perspective of using these AI tools because I've been using these AI tools for some time now. I, just as I said, six months I've been using these AI tools to do my job and every other thing. And something actually happened that made me to have a rethink of this whole AI things in quotes. These AI tools like the bad AI and chat GPT. But the question is, is these AI tools actually helping us or causing a whole lot of damage to those people using these AI tools like students, researchers and a whole lot of people using these AI tools. So I had a video I wanted to shoot also scripts. At first you have to script first before you make your shootings. Something happened one particular day that made me to have a rethink of this whole AI stuff. Most of the time I use chat GPT, the free open source software for my scripting to be able to make my research and get information in which I want to use for my video and be able to do some changes and add some these and that to be able to come out with something good and once you check my video you'll see that for some time, some weeks, I've not been able to post videos because of this particular incident that actually happened to me. It happened that one of the days I went online to be able to do my scripting. I wanted to use the chat GBT to be able to do my scripting and everything. I went online and unfortunately my internet went off. I know we all can remember what happened some weeks or months ago whereby there was an internet cottage in African countries like Nigeria, Ghana and a whole Egypt and a whole lot of West African countries. These incidents actually affected me in a way whereby I couldn't be able to use these chat GPT, which I actually use most of the time for my content creation. So I went to the internet, I couldn't gain access to this software and I also tried some other software, some other websites which I can be able to make my research and get my content and everything to be able to do the scripting and be able to get very good information for my video. But unfortunately, to my greatest surprise, the internet totally went off. I couldn't go through any website and a whole lot. After some time, I was I was like I was I was I was totally out of out of how do I put it? I was just I was my mind. It was like a shock to me that how come I have an internet data and I, and I can't be able to use these websites. It got to some time, then the, my network provider sent me a message that there's an internet cottage which happened at the sea, which has really affected a whole lot of countries. With that, there won't be any other means of being able to use these AI tools for my content creation. And I also tried Microsoft. Microsoft also have their own it a chat GPT software installed in their website. I also tried that, but unfortunately this website went totally blank on me. I couldn't get any information. And if you actually experienced so leave it in the comments, what was your experience like when you encountered these internet outage? I was so confused because these that was actually when I discovered that using these AI tools at times can also be an addict. You can be addicted to using these AI tools for content creation and a whole lot. And at that moment, my brain, my mind, my thinking, everything went blank because I needed information to be able to do my video. And 
unfortunately i'm unable to get this information for my videos it got to a time whereby i couldn't do anything the first day second day third day because of this incident i almost gave up on content creation because it got to a time whereby i couldn't make any recording i couldn't do any it was like what is going on with this internet of it does it mean that without these chat gpt i won't be able to make my research or make any video get any video title any video ideas and this is actually what happened to me and this incident almost made me to give up on youtube but after some hours my network provider sent me another message um, saying that they are trying to connect with their international partners to be able to see if they can resolve the internet issues that is going to take months to, <laughs> months to be able to solve this internet problem and how do I stay for more than more than a month or more before I can be able to make use of these tools? That is when I come to a conclusion that using an AI tool itself can really be an addict. Before the end of this video, I'm going to share six different things in which using this chat, GPT, and other AI tools for almost everything in which you do. What the effect it can actually cause to you and your whole content creation ideas. At times, we need to be able to draw a certain boundary or a level between using these tools all the time. Because of this incident, I totally stopped creating content. I couldn't do anything because I have been addicted to this AI tools, using AI tools to do almost everything in which I do. And it took me weeks to be able to recover myself and I needed to stand up to ask myself, does it mean that without using these AI tools, I can't be able to create good content? Now, these are some of the six different things I encountered since I stopped using these AI tools and it can also affect anyone once you are so addicted to using these AI tools. First, it reduces critical thinking skills. Relying heavily on using AI tools can diminish your own critical thinking ability. Tools may offer quick and convenient solutions but they may not always encourage deeper comprehension and analysis. Using these AI tools actually affected me because it made me, it, it got me to a state whereby I couldn't actually think, have a critical thinking, think for myself, what do I need to do? I always, most of the time, rely on these AI tools to give me knowledge, to give me idea, clue on what I want to do. These actually affect me in this aspect to be able to, making it difficult for me to have a clear thinking to be able to think of what I want to create, what I want to write about, the kind of content or video in which I want to make. The next thing these AI tools, once you stop using these AI tools, does to you is that loss of personal voice and style. AI generated content may lack the personal voice, style and experience that makes your work unique. Overusing AI tools can result in you losing your creative voice, style and personality. Once I stopped using these AI tools. I went blank because I couldn't create anything. And once you are so addicted to these AI tools is that what you experience is that you won't be able to have a voice if you won't have a personality or a style or a way of doing or creating content for yourself. It's like you automatically becomes a robot. That's I don't know if you actually get what I'm saying. What happens is that you don't no, naturally, we humans, we have natural creativity. We also have our natural talent, our God-given talent, things in which we can actually do, how we can create things, how we can write things, our voice, our personality. The way I speak is actually my style, my personality, and the way I edit my video is actually my own style. The same video in which is given to someone else, the person will be able to edit it, do it in a different way which is actually different, which is which is what makes the person unique in his own way. Once you are addicted to these AI yeah, tools, it's going to affect you in this aspect, whereby you won't be able to have your own automatic, you won't be able to have your own genuine, unique style of doing things. You just go in the AI direction. You won't be able to do things on your own. You understand? It's like you are in a bondage. I don't know how to put it, but it's actually like you are in a bondage of something which you can't break free or like a addictions. Using these AI tools can also affect you in these aspects. 
Another thing in which these AI tools does do is that lack of creativity. AI tools are designed to generate content based on pattern and existing information. In highly creative fields such as writing, relying solely on AI tools can stifle your own creative thinking and originality. Making use of these AI tools all the time and everything will affect your creativity. This is what I formally explained. Using AI tools will affect your creativity and your personality because you won't be able to be creative, which is exactly what happened to me. I, I, I went blank. I couldn't be able to create content, create videos and a whole lot. I totally went blank. So these are some of the effects. And the next one is inaccurate and unreliable information. While AI tools can assist in research, they might not always provide accurate or up-to-date information. It is essential to fact check and verify the information generated by AI tools to ensure its credibility. It's very important to draw, be able to draw a boundary between using AI tools and being able to, to be creative on your own. You don't just rely on AI totally. You don't just put all your focus, put all your ideas, put all your mentality, all your belief on using AI. These AI tools might not be able to give you accurate information. These AI tools are not 100% trusted. Not, I don't mean trusted, but you don't need to put all your focus on using these AI tools in other times. You need to just use them to be able to get the idea and be able to be able to create things on your own. It's very important because when this thing happened, I discovered that I've, I need to be able to be creative on my own without AI tools. Now you ask yourself, if these AI tools now go out of the system, but I know it will be difficult, but let's assume AI tools doesn't exist. How do you write your content? How do you script your content? Do you do it yourself or what? You can see that these AI tools have effect on we humans, have effect on us. We have to be able to know the boundaries in which we are going to use these AI tools and be able to draw this boundary so that we can still be creative to be able to make things on our own without relying solely on these AI tools like ChatGPT and bad AI and others. The next one is trust and authority issues. When an AI tools are used extensively, it can diminish trust in the authenticity and reliability of content. Users may be uncertain whether the content was genuinely produced by human or generated by AI. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying AI tools is bad, but it is crucial and important to strike a balance between using AI tools as aids and developing your own skills, critical thinking and creativity. Combining the benefit of AI with your own abilities can lead to more well-rounded and effective results. So this is all I have for you on today's video. If you find this video interesting or been able to experience some of these things in which I encountered while using the AI tools, drop it at the comment section and don't forget to click on the like here this video for other people to be able to get this information and make sure to subscribe to this channel. See you on the next video.